Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew, number 20, guest starring Changeling from the New Teen Titans. And I love this book, it's so much fun. The art is fantastic. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So make sure you hit subscribe and like, and I'm gonna cue the intro and I'll be right back. It's Troy TV. All right, here we go. So, um, full disclosure, I love Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew, but I didn't really collect them. This is the only issue I have with them. My brother collected them more, and they always seem like a really fun book, so I was just happy to look at his. And then, of course, I was a huge uh, New Teen Titans fan, um, thanks to Marv Wolfman and George Perez. So, I could not resist when Changeling guest starred in this Captain Carrot issue, and the cover is amazing. Um, interestingly enough, Captain Carrot and his zoo crew made their debut in the New Teen Titans as an insert, like a preview, uh, created by Roy Thomas and the amazing Scott Shaw. So, um, by this point in the book, this is, this covers by Rick Hoberg, and I love it. He, it looks great. He draws them just as well as Scott Shaw did, maybe with a little less whimsy and sort of the eclecticness that Scott Shaw brings to the table, but still super solid and great at the same time. I love how Changeling looks. It's interesting here because he is guest starring in Captain Akira and his amazing zoo crew, and they're a team of animo anamorphic, sorry, I always screw up the pronunciation on that word, um, characters. So Changeling's ability to turn into animals looks a little more cartoonish on the cover, and I love that detail right there. So um, I love the cover. Like, uh, this is back in the day when covers, like, told you what was going on in the book, or they had gimmicks, or just, like, you know, things to grab you in with a copy on the cover. They've really gotten away from that kind of thing. If you watch my channel, you know I'm intro to, to the traditional aspects of comics that I love. I think comics are so great. I mean, I do love a lot of the modern comics. I love the modern coloring. I think they look fantastic. There's so many great things going on. But I love the traditional stuff too. I love captions. I love speech balloons on covers. I love thought balloons. I love sound effects, the whole nine. So let's get into this puppy. And I love it because it's kind of, it's, you know, they made their debut in the Teen Titans. And I think they borrow heavily a lot. They're like uh, avatars of Justice League and the Teen Titans, like they have their Z-shaped tower, which is, you know, really uh, aerodynamic and probably um, physically impossible speaking from a an engineer standpoint, but it's still amazing nonetheless. Iron Pig instead of uh, Iron Man, hilarious. Oh, I was hoping for a roll call. I thought they did that, but um, then you have Fastback, who's like the speedster of the team and he's a duck, hilarious. Um, what the heck was her name? Star Spangled Poodle, something like that. She was always my favorite, of course, being the um, Wonder Woman sort of avatar. And then the magician on the team, Ali Ketabra, was that her name? And then this little cheese. I mean, what a great, like this is actually making me wanna read the whole series just two pages into this because E. Nelson Bridwell Plotter, Jill, Joey Cav, Cav, Cavalieri, apparently I can't talk today, forgive me, is the writer um, who is known at, I don't know if this is before or after, but he would go on to edit and write for Marvel too. Rick Hoberg, penciler, um, Cody Letterer, Carol Lay, anchor, Carl Gafford, colorist, all great names, all like veterans of the comic book industry, familiar names. I love this cheese character sh changing size. I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Gar looks great. I love Rick Hobart's art. Um, I feel like not super familiar with his art. And I think that like when I did my um, review on the, uh, what do you call it? The who's who in the DC universe omnibus, there was a lot of art by Rick Hoberg. And I was like, wow, I really love this art. Like, why don't I know this name more? I mean, he's definitely like a great classic 
um, comic book storyteller here. Gar looks amazing. The Captain Carrot and his zoo crew look amazing. The storytelling is really on point. I really love this. <clears throat> I feel like maybe cult classic status for Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. I mean, definitely um, many people have a fond place in their heart for him and his team. I mean, and this is from 1983. So we're going back real far here, kids. I love this. She rides like her little um, Iceman bridge, but it's made out of like stars and stripes and like she has just such a fantastic design i really love these characters she is a good they're all designed so well i mean that's scott shaw for you right um and i don't know i mean i just feel like it was a great comic book for kids because obviously the characters are very appealing but it was kind of smart and um all audiences, like anybody can enjoy it. I think that the, the best kid stuff <laughs> um, is written for adults, if that makes any sense. Like, you know, how, like, look at the, a lot of the Pixar cartoons, how amazing those are and, like, how deep and, like, um, meaningful and the stories are. And you just get a lot of, uh, I don't know, underlying themes and stuff. I mean... Who hasn't watched a cartoon as an adult that they used to watch as a kid and been like, oh, wow, I never noticed all that going on in there. Correct? Correct. Just a fun, great team. I wish I had more of these babies because it's such a great book. Little Cheese is the shapeshifter. I thought that was his name, but I don't want to get called out for calling him the wrong name. Coming soon from the new DC the Oz Wonderland War starring Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. That is so cool. I love Rick Hoberg's art. I'm going to have to look up and see what else he did. And if not, get this Captain Carrot. I feel like there's no um, very cool Dave Gibbons, Green Lantern. A lot of people don't know that. Well, maybe you do know. <laughs> Everyone watching is like, everybody knows that Dave Gibbons did Green Lantern. But that's kind of where he got his American start um before Watchmen and I just love his art it's very I never noticed that it's very actually um compatible with what Gil Kane did and Gil Kane is probably my favorite Green Lantern artist I absolutely love and adore um Gil Kane's work I have to talk about this for a second because this is hilarious I mean you guys um who like video games I mean what do you think of the old school like <laughs> Atari and and television and Activision and all those crazy, like, really, like, oh my gosh, we've come so far. I mean, video games now are like watching a movie. I feel like you're actually, I'm terrible at modern video games, by, by the way. Give me, like, Donkey Kong or Qbert. I love freaking Qbert. Don't give me this, like, ridiculous hard crap. Anyway, so if you're unfamiliar with Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew, you need to check it out because it is so good and so worth it. And I am definitely going to look at some back issues on this. And I was going to say, I don't think there are any trades available. Not that I recall them ever coming out. Um, I'm not always on the pulse of everything, but um, DC, make a trade happen. I mean, I don't know what's going on, why it's not in trade paperback or an omnibus, perhaps. Just include, our, I don't know if there's enough for an omnibus, but... Just give us a nice trade of Captain Carrot and his amazing suit crew because they are adorable. I love them. I'd love to see them come back in a cartoon. What is DC waiting for? I mean, they make all these great movies about, um, you know, like their uh, graphic novels and things like that. So I think that Captain Carrot and his amazing suit crew are begging for a new cartoon, either series or movie. I take either or. Come on, HBO Max. Well, let's do this, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more soon. All right, thanks guys.